What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Aiden from the camera once again. YouTube family, what's going on, man? Did y'all check out my last two videos that I just posted not too long ago? Maybe, yeah, like one a week ago and one not too long ago. Like, y'all need to check that out. Show some love, you know what I'm saying? Um, but nah, I guess you could say this is pretty much like a tutorial video or a tips and tricks video or whatever tips, how to, whatever, I guess, whatever you want to classify this video. But I want to share something with y'all. I want to share with you how to, you know, have long lasting symbols. Um, doesn't matter which symbol company, no matter. Have long lasting symbols. Short story when I was little, you know what I'm saying? I was playing drums for my church in New York, you know what I mean? And um, being a little kid back then, you know, the, the best part of the drum set is uh, the symbols, you know, they're loud, you know, you get hit them constantly, no matter. You know what I'm saying? So, but back in those times, it wasn't just me, it was also other drummers too as well. So after years and years of playing, you know, hitting the cymbals and not having the right placement or um, hitting, hitting them the right way, we end up breaking the cymbals, cracking or leaving the chip, whatever. So we end up, you know, have to go to the music store to buy some new cymbals. You know what I'm saying? But I want to show y'all how to really keep your cymbals tip top shape. You know what I'm saying? So you won't have to, you know, spend more money on more symbols here because, you know, one is cracked or one is broken or whatever. Or if you don't have no money, you wanna want these symbols to last as long as possible. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I'm pretty much just gonna show you. So I'm gonna use an old pair of hi-hats that I have here at the house. And I say that because all my other stuff, all my symbols is in Virginia and I'm in Delaware. So um, I'm gonna share this with y'all. So here is, here is the hats right here. These are saving hats. I gotta hurry up. Oh, and I'm cool now. Cause I thought my um, battery was dying, but I'm cool. But here's the saving hats. Saving hats, these are old school B8s. You know how you can tell these are old school B8s because they, they still have the old school logo. You know what I mean? That's before they even changed it. But here is some Sabian B8 high hats, and I'm gonna use these and as an example. Please, 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 please disregard this one right here. See what happened is that I didn't have a symbol case. Symbol case is also good for your symbols too as well. I didn't have a symbol case, so I had all my symbols in the um, the trunk. So as I was pulling them out, my top um, hi hat symbol fell and landed directly on concrete. And I'm talking about, it was from a, a very high position, position, so end up dropping, and this is the result. Rip, gotta get a rip in the chat. Shout out to my gaming my gaming crew. But yeah, let me just put this up. Good thing though, I got a, a pair of Peisty PST5 hats, medium hats. Sorry, got a fresh symbol right here. So we're gonna, get into this so hypothetically speaking we could say that this is pretty much let's say this is a saving AAX crash standard AAX crash you know what I mean so throughout my years of playing especially when I was younger the way we played our symbols was straight just like this straight like this now this is bad because all your contact is going towards the rim You know what I'm saying? All your contact is going to the rim. Now, in my case, I have one symbol in my whole entire setup that is straight like this because it's low, like that. So all my contact is going inside of the symbol. So I, I'm hitting all this, you know, so it's low like this and it's sit on my right side low like that. So I don't really have to worry about symbol placement on that part. But anything that is high or like mid-level or eye level, this is a no-go. This is a no-go from what I have learned because all your contact is going onto the rim. Now, how you're supposed to play, play it, the proper way of playing it, you're supposed to have your symbol on a slight tilt. Hold on, let me see, show you. On a slight tilt, like this. Reason why, because you are, because um, the purpose of that tilt is to, put, to hit everything in the inside part of the symbol, low tire. But yeah, that's the purpose of having the symbol tilted so you can hit the inside part of the um, symbol. This is where all your sound lines, this is where all the, the hammering and everything is done. This is where all your sound is coming out from. So not from the rim. I mean, you still get a sound from the from the rim, 
but you'll get more of the actual sound, the actual tone of what the symbol is supposed to bring out in the middle part of the symbol. You know what I mean? So that's the proper way of how to play um, your symbols and how they'll be able to last a lot longer. So you won't have to go out there and constantly spend out money because you keep cracking the symbols. You know what I'm saying? Now, in some cases, say like for jazz uh, drummers, they play their cymbals like extra tilted because that's their play style. That's how they do it. You know what I'm saying? That's how they play when they, you know, um, play jazz music or whatnot. Then you also have people that also play like this too because this is, this is comfortable for them and their cymbals last a lot longer. You know what I'm saying? Or they may not they want to hit their cymbal that hard too as well. Um, in some cases, you have drummers that play their cymbals like this on an upscale battle, you know what I'm saying? For in, um, in this case, like, one of my favorite all-time drums that I watch, that I love watching all the time, is Chris Coleman. He played his cymbals up like this. Reason why, because he sits high, and his drum sits low. So all his toms, pretty much all his drums, are tabletop. They're, they're tabletop, and he sits high, so he's, you know, up high and he's playing down low so all his drum synths low and his cymbals are tilted most of his cymbals are tilted like this because all his contact is since, he, since he's sitting high all his contact is coming up but it's still hitting you know the middle part of the cymbal you know I mean because he's sitting so high so in some cases you have like that but um proper way to play your cymbals is on a slight tilt you know I mean you don't have to be crazy tilted you know what I'm saying? But tilted enough for you to where it is comfortable for you. I mean, I'm not knocking anybody who plays um, their symbol straight up. Like I said before, I still play with my symbol straight up because of one, because uh, of my setup. Because I have one symbol on my right side straight up and I'm sitting high. You know what I mean? But I'm not knocking anybody that plays their symbols um, straight up. But I just want to share this with y'all so you won't have to keep damaging or cracking the symbols and you have to force yourself to go out there to buy yourself some more symbols. You know what I'm saying? So. You want to be able to save as much money as possible until you want to, you know, buy some symbols to add on to your set. You want to buy symbols to add to your set, not symbols to replace the ones that you have. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But um, but yeah, this is pretty much how the way you're supposed to play. Not supposed to play it. How you supposed to play it? Not. How you supposed to play it? So yeah, I just wanted to share y'all with share this with y'all. You know what I'm saying? Um, and maybe hopefully. Maybe next week I'll drop another video and I'll show y'all how my symbols are placed in my setup that I have in my church. I'll share that with y'all. And um, I have a total of maybe one, two, three, four, five, six symbols in one setup. So I'm gonna show y'all, I'm gonna go through each one of them, one of them that I have and I'm gonna share that with y'all, all right? So y'all be easy, y'all stay blessed. Share those two last videos that I posted up. You know what I mean? I truly appreciate the love that I've been getting on them. And God bless, man. Y'all go master your day and y'all be easy.